Okay, so we've been talking about significant figures. What happens if you have a multi-step calculation? Well, it turns out there's two conventions for how to handle it. So let's look at the first convention. So first convention says you apply the rules at each step. So suppose I have this calculation. So according to order of operations, the first thing I would do is this multiplication up top here. And by multiplication, we count sig figs. So remember, this has three, this has four sig figs, three wins. So when we do that multiplication, we would get 212, and I want three sig figs, so I'm going to put a decimal point there. Everything else stays the same, plus 1.5 over 6.8. Okay, next thing we would do is this addition right here. Remember when we add or subtract, we count decimal places. Okay, so this has zero places after the decimal, and that has one place, so zero wins. So when I do this calculation, I would get 214 with no places after the decimal point, divided by 6.8. And the last step, this has three significant figures, that has two significant figures, two wins. Remember when you multiply or divide, you count significant figures. And so when I do this division, I would get 31, and I'll put a decimal point there to indicate that these are both significant figures. Okay, so that's convention one. Convention two is you do the calculation all in one step and then you round it at the end. And so, this one's a little bit easier. If you just type this into a calculator, you would end up getting 31.3323529. Okay, now you would never write all these numbers out. Uh, that just wouldn't make sense here for the size of the numbers that we have in the problem. And so now you could round it. And uh, you might have a convention for how you want to round. In general, I just say if you're just doing a homework problem or trying to work out a problem um, that's not a lab problem, just go ahead and round it to something reasonable. Maybe 31.3 would make sense. But if you're working on something in the lab, then the rules are a little bit more strict. You might want to go ahead and apply convention number one, where you apply the rules at each step. Um, Again, uh, I would make sure, uh, you know, if you happen to be taking a course uh, or you're, you have a lab component to the course, I would see what the lab instructor uh, would prefer uh, you do to handle these, these types of problems. But for book problems or for any of the problems that I have in the videos here, I'm just going to do all the calculations at once and then round at the end.